circadian clocks are internal timekeepers that run with a near 24 hour periodicity. Time information to these clocks is given by various cyclical cues in the environment such as light and temperature. These clocks help animals to synchronize their activity according to time of day. In some cases, food can also help the clock keep time. For example, bees time their activity according to plant flowering times, which itself is under circadian clock regulation. Similarly, presence of food at odd times can also signal to clocks in the liver of mice that make them active when food access is restricted during their usual sleep time. So what happens to activity of fruit flies when food availability is cyclic? Can food act as a time cue in fruit flies? To address this, we first need to understand some basics of chronobiology. If a time cue is good at synchronizing a clock, then the clock must be able to predict its occurrence. In a classical experiment conducted many decades ago, bees were allowed to feed on a source of sugar solution every day at exactly the same time. The bees arrived at the feeder at the same time daily, even on the day when the feeder was hidden. This shows that the bee activity clock huh? was predicting the presence of the feeder at that particular time. This is called phase control. We performed similar experiments with flies in our lab, where they were given food only for certain durations of the day and were tested for phase control. We found that on the day when cyclic food cues were removed, the observed phase of activity was different from the predicted phase. This indicates that fly clocks are not good predictors of food timing. Another criterion we tested is called period matching. The rotation of the earth takes about 24 hours and that's why a typical day on earth is about 24 hour long. If the earth were to rotate slower, say a 26 hour day, or faster, a 21 hour day, environmental cycles would also be slower or faster. We can create these slower or faster days artificially by expanding or shrinking the light dark cycles. Since light is a strong time cue for fly clocks, speeding up or slowing down light dark cycles also speeds up or slows down the activity rest rhythms of flies. Hence, when light is the time cue, there is perfect match between the intrinsic clock period tau and the environmental period t. We perform the same experiment with feeding starvation cycles instead of light dark cycles and either sped up or slowed down these cycles. We found that the majority of the flies showed two distinct periodicities, one closer to the intrinsic period and the other closer to the environmental period. Importantly, the intrinsic period of fly activity clocks does not match the period of the environmental feeding starvation cycles, thereby showing no period matching when food was the time cue. Yet another criterion of a reliable time cue is its ability to bring about phase synchrony. For example, being at school at 7 am is a strong cue and almost every student makes it on time every day. However, if there was a party due to start at 7 p.m., there is no great incentive to be on time for this party, other than good manners, of course. We also tested phase synchrony among flies. Light is a strong cue for fly clocks and hence acts like the strong school time signal. Flies show phase synchrony during light dark cycles. However, we found that food acts like the weak party signal. Flies showed reduced synchrony during feeding starvation cycles. We used a classical approach to answer if cyclic food availability can act as a time cue for the activity clock of fruit flies. In our study, we tested three basic criteria, phase control, period matching, and phase synchrony to conclude that food availability cycles do not act as a reliable time cue for fly activity rhythms. For more details on this work, Please find the details of our paper listed below.